have been talking a lot about this, the measles. Uh, more than 700 cases of measles have been confirmed in the United States, making this the highest number since 1994. And measles was declared eliminated in 2000. So joining us now is Dr. William Schaffner. He's the department chair of preventative medicine and the professor of medicine in the divisions of infectious diseases at Vanderbilt University School of Medicine. Doctor, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, one of the things that I've started to hear, and we even spoke to our Dr. John LaPook here at CBS News yesterday about this, is that for certain individuals who were born after 1989, that they, or who were born prior to 1989, that they should be thinking about getting another measles shot. Do you, can you explain why that might be necessary? Well, Vlad, the story is that before 1989, just one measles shot was recommended. So there may be some people out there who've received only one and want to complete the measles uh, vaccine series. Uh, they should go ahead and talk to their health care provider, particularly if they're in two groups. If they're going to be traveling internationally to any place where there's a big measles outbreak, and of course here in the U.S., if they're living in and around a place where they're currently having a measles outbreak. And then if there's any doubt, just roll up your sleeve, get that shot, and you'll be protected. So, doctor, you know, we said that the measles had been declared sort of eradicated, right, uh, here in the U United States in 2000. <laughs> so how does a disease like this make a comeback? Well, Emery, what happens is that parents are withholding their children from vaccination, and then the measles virus gets imported back into the United States by either a foreign traveler or one of our children unvaccinated, goes abroad, picks up the measles, brings it home, and then it spreads to other unvaccinated children. So we've created the gap. We now have to fill that gap by getting everyone vaccinated. Doctor, the other thing I think that people at home who are watching this may not be aware of is just how extremely contagious the measles are. Um, if you are somebody who's been infected with the measles, uh, you may not show symptoms for, I'm told, something like 10 to two weeks, 10 days to two weeks practically. And in that time, you can infect a lot of people because apparently the virus is very, it lives for quite a long time in the air and on surfaces. Am I right about that? Sure. It is the most transmissible virus we know. And before you get sick, for the three or four days before you get sick, you can actually spread the virus to other people, and the virus can hang in the air. So after you leave the room, somebody else walks in. Within two hours, they can become sick if they're susceptible. So it's highly, highly transmissible. So we have been doing stories basically every other day about this. Um, I'm wondering, if people start to sort of heed the warning, could we slow the progression? At this rate right now, with the number of cases in this country, we are definitely on track to sort of blow the worst case, the worst of the numbers out of the water, right? Um, so what's the likelihood that we can slow this down? Well, if everybody who is unvaccinated today got vaccinated, this would be over in two weeks, finished. However, that's not going to happen. So I think measles will be with us for quite a few more months, unfortunately. Doctor, um, explain, you know, there was a research paper that was published about 12 or 13 years ago in a very respected medical journal, which a lot of people have pointed to as sort of the ground zero for this resurgence in uh, folks that decide that they don't want their children to be vaccinated. Just take us through that history. And ultimately, that paper was debunked. I wish I wouldn't have to talk about this because that was a terrible thing. The paper alleged that there was a connection between measles vaccine and autism. The paper was a fraud. The person who wrote it lost their license to practice medicine in Britain. And it's been disproven many, many times over. The vaccine is safe. There is no association with autism. It has been given in the millions upon millions of doses around the world remarkably successfully. The vaccine is safe. Well, it's safer than getting the measles, probably, For right? Sure. Dr. William Schaffner, thank you very much. Thanks, doctor. Thank you.